What is up, people? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more eSports Talk. This past weekend during a Valorant event, the Solary Cup was going on, and apparently DeFran has now been banned for life from that TO, that being Solary TV, who put on the event following his toxicity towards opposing players, teams, as well as the organization who put on the tournament as well. Now, I want to state for all of you guys, before we break it down very quickly, it's not too complicated. I don't think anyone out there is 100% innocent when it comes time for DeFran versus Solary. I don't think anyone out there is 100% at fault either. It seems like a communication issue on both sides, and you guys at this point can really choose which side you do believe because Solary TV, despite giving him a lifetime ban, had not explained in thorough detail the explanation of why, and of course, DeFran has not taken a stream to explain the full story as well. So now we're all left up in the air to try and dissect the situation, which we do presume to be. As of right now, take of the grain of salt all the finite details, but I do think it was actually a lack of communication between these two parties, and then overall how DeFran reacted it kind of pushed it too far. So first off, guys, it was actually during the semifinals or right before that matchup was supposed to happen. Supposedly that matchup was actually rescheduled and that rescheduling was actually made five days ahead of time. But because of DeFran and possibly his teammates not being in the correct Discord, that being the Solary Discord, they had no idea of these changes. Then the opposing team they're supposed to play, Hip from formerly of Overwatch, actually noticed this. He was amongst that team. Apparently he and his teammates then take to Twitter as they see DeFran Fran playing Overwatch at the time the match is supposed to be played, and they tweeted him, also make jokes about him, and some of those tweets have now been deleted. That's where I will say, DeFran is not 100% at fault here because the opposing team supposedly was making jabs at him as well, and those are now deleted. I don't have those tweets to share with all of you guys. It does continue, though, as apparently DeFran being late, accordingly... Supposedly, the rule set did state the entire series could have been forfeited because DeFran showed up late and thus, by whatever rule book is out there, the entire series could have been forfeited. The enemy team, though, then said they would actually take a 1-map or 1-0 advantage to start the series. This is when DeFran then takes to Twitter as well as to stream to bash not only the organization Solary TV, not only HIP, but also the opposing team and a lot of their members, which is where I think he took it maybe a bit too far. I understand why you guys are coming from, especially diehard DeFran fans. You probably love his toxic side. Please keep in mind before I play you guys these clips though, DeFran was late to the matchup. His teammates were not. Keep in mind how his teammates reacted compared to DeFran, and you understand why what he did was unprofessional. We didn't see a guy like Mixwell or Scream go on a Twitter rant, or especially go on a Twitch rant, calling the enemy team and the organization holding the event pussies or biatches. They didn't do that. They stayed pretty calm about it. DeFran did not, and so I hope you guys can maybe see why what he did pushed it maybe a bit too far. Hoop is a washed up trash always league player who had to retire because he's fuck dog shit and yeah, then he comes to Valorant and he's dog shit there work. too he has to yeah, use know, excuses like oh I gotta eat dinner Excellent. and then uh, then oh you came too late because I have to go eat dinner oh but in reality I'm just being a bitch and I don't, I don't want to play against you because I'm scared to lose uh, uh 16.30 right yeah so we were late, we didn't know because no one yeah. told us and then the other team was tweeting out that uh, we are late, people don't respect uh, like the time and shit yeah. and then uh, Brams talked to me saying that bro we're late, we're one map down and shit and I told the friend to join TeamSpeak and uh, we, I told Draken to call you <laughs> and, and whatever, we all joined here and then uh, the friend just didn't want to play because if we are one map down, it's fucking in absurd and shit. And uh, he just we shouldn't play one map down. I don't know. Like... Yeah. And then uh, and then he said that they are a bunch of washed-up players or some shit. I don't remember what. Yeah. And now they don't want to play because the friend said that. That's that's exactly without the friend. Yeah, yeah. Without me because they're scared. Without. I can't f time because they're scared. They're scared f pussies. They're actual f pussies. 
And so following his outbreak, then Solari comes out and bans him for life. They allow the team to actually reschedule the matchup against the same team and have a sub-in or fill-in player for DeFran instead. As of me recording this, they have now just won that semifinal matchup with a comeback, so congratulations. I will say at the end of all of this, guys, when I first touched on the story, I was definitely against a friend. Being very unprofessional, if you want to be a signed Valorant player, this is not a good thing to look at when you when a when a tournament organizer bans you for life and then you say suck my ball sack you p word you b word a lot of choice language was used my only comparison really can be is his teammates did not have that same reaction i will say though in a bit of defense of defran we don't know all the finite details of what the opposing team was also saying about him and of course solary they never came out with a full statement as well as context to why and how the situation unraveled itself and that's what we need. You can't just make a statement and say, oh, by the way, this player is banned for life because of what he did, and then not explain exactly what he did. It leaves a lot of room for speculation and why people like me, it, it makes it confusing. So I definitely do not agree with what DeFran did, but I don't think he's 100% at fault during this circumstance. I hope other pro players can learn from this and hopefully, I don't know, talk nicer to each other. Either way, Solary TV has now banned DeFran for life from the events. Besides that, though, DeFran is still allowed to compete and play in Valorant, and we can just look past this and see what comes next of this lineup. I would say even more exciting for CS fans or Overwatch fans out there, this could be a pretty swell team. The fact that DeFran could be signed in Valorant, Mixwell, Scream, they could be too, Draken, I mean, this is crazy times, and so at least at the very end of the day, we can take some happy news from all of this. Valorant is still offering some very crazy times for all of us, and very entertaining times. I don't care what side you take in this case, guys, but at the very end of the day, it is really entertaining. Until next time, drink your water, drink your coffee, I'll be back here all day long. Let's have a great week, why don't we?